Allocyte nanotubes by Roland James Dominguez. So here, here is a here is a comparison between a conventional filler, nanoclase, and halocyte nanotubes. So halocyte nanotubes and nanoclase and conventional fillers all have high strength. Um, halocyte nanotubes and nanoclase are not brittle unlike uh, conventional fillers. So HMTS or halocyte nanotubes have lower weight like nanoclay. Uh, the process of creating halocyte nanotube uh, involves standard equipment only, unlike nanoclays, which uses non-standard equipment and specialized chemistry. Halocyte nanotubes has lower process costs due to the fact that it uses only standard equipment. And it has broad compatibility, unlike the nanoclays, which has limited compatibility. So here, you can see the structure of allocyte nanotubes. It is composed of silicon, aluminum, oxygen, and hydrogen. Its formula, its chemical formula is So, halocyte nanotubes, uh, uh, the basal spacing of this is 10.14 hydrated halocytes and the uh, dehydrated halocyte halocytes has 7.2. If the temperature is over 50 degrees Celsius or the relative humidity is lower than 50 degrees, the hydrated halocytes will lose its inner layer of water. Uh, this process is irreversible so and will affect the results of soil classification. There is also no interlaying swelling in halocyte nanotubes. And the shape of a uh, halocyte nanotube is tubular when it's hydrated. So here you can see two figures. In figure A, it is a schematic representation of the halocyte tubular structure and wall chemistry. And in figure B, it is the variation of silica in alumina surface potentials by pH of the solution. Here, you can see a raw halocyte mineral in figure A. It was dug up from dragon mine. And in letter B, it is a scanning electron microscope image from or SEM from the halocyte mineral. Here is the Here is a transmission electron microscope image of the hollow site and its samples loaded with silver. Brilliant green dissolution curve in water, squares and solid line, and sustained release from hollow site circles and dash line. So here is an illustration of stopper formation at halocyte tube endings by interaction by leaking benzotriazole at ions. In figure A is a schematic of halocyte lumen etching. A uh, transmission electron microscope images images of letter B original and letter C sulfuric acid treated halocyte. So that's it. That's all for me. Hello guys, uh, I'm Jason Carmilotes and I'm going to report about the performance of the Haloisite Nanoclay. So Haloisite Nanoclay is discovered in 2013. So the performance and the, the function of the Haloisite Nanoclay are just the same. So the function of halocyte nanoclay. So halocyte nanoclay is one of the subcategories of nanoclay that has been undeservedly ignored in the production of cement compositions. Chemically, the outer surface of the halocyte nanotubes has properties similar to silicon dioxide, while the inner cylinder core is related to aluminum trioxide, which together may improve the cement matrix. So, the first function 
of the halicite nanoclease to improve the cement matrix. So, so in the study, the mechanical properties, flowability, thermal behavior, and durability of mortars containing 1 to 3% halocyte nanoclay were studied. Compressive strength and gas permeability of samples with 3% and 2% of nanoclay were improved up to 24% and 56% respectively. SEM XRD DSC tests were carried out to investigate the microstructure and chemical composition change in simple halocyte nanoclay. So, halocyte naturally, naturally occurring clay nanotubes is described as an additive for functional polymer composite. So, the second function is it is an additive for functional polymer composites. So, due to the empty tubular lumen capable of being loaded with chemically active agents, so this is the third function of the halicyte nanoclay. So, it provides additional end functions such as drug delivery, antibiotic, flame retardant, anti corrosion, and crack self healing to polymeric composites synergistically combined with enhanced tensile impact and adhesive strength. So doping loaded clay nanotubes into a polymeric matrix provides a kind of ceramic skeleton and these skeleton bones are loaded with functional chemicals like real bones loaded with marrow. Tunable controlled release of active agents through synthesis of artificial nanocaps at the tube endings and halocyte lumen enlargement by selective etching allowed for tubular nanocontainers with chemicals release time from 10 to 200 hours in the loading capacity of calcium. So 30% halicide is well mixable with polymers of high me and medium polarities with any surface modification. So halicide nanoclay has a tube-like morphology. So it shows low electrical, thermal conductivity, and strong hydrogen interactions on account of which the inner hydroxyl groups show greater stability than the surface hydro hydroxyl groups in halocyte. So the loss of whole water occurs at nearly 300 degrees Celsius. So the tube-like morphology, high aspect ratio, low percolation show interesting applications as reinforcement in nanocomposites. Similar to Mount Morillonite, halocyte consists of two layers of aluminosilicate in the proportion of 1-1 aluminum-silicon ratio. Significant improvements in thermal mechanical properties has been reported in the addition halocyte nanotubes in polymer composite. So, the last one is, it shows better mechanical and water solubility. So these are the functions of halicite nanoclay in mixing to the mechanical properties. Hi, I'm Aileen Kapampangan. I'm going to discuss to you the application of halicite nanotubes. I get this information from the article Halicite Nanotube and Application, a review made by Ravindra Campbell, Manasiga, Shidal Gigawad, Dijoy Kumar Panda. According to their article, their first application is use of naturally occurring halocyte nanotube for enhancing capture of flowing cells. This application is about capturing of circulating tumor cells or also known as CTCS in blood. Can be targeted more effectively by incorporation of halocyte natural tube or also known as HNT. Onto the surface of devices used to capture circulating tumor cells in blood. It was found that halocyte nanotube coating promote increased capture of leukemia cells and have determined the key parameter for controlling cells capture under flow, halocyte content, and selection density. For their second application is HNPS as nanoreactor or nanotemplates. Recently, HNTS have been used as alternative nanoreactor 
to fabricate nanowires, nanoparticles, and for similar purpose. For instance, intercalation and polymerization of aniline within a tubular aluminosilicate which suggests that the polyaline, which can act as a molecular wire, could be prepared in lumens of HNTS. HNTS could be used as biomineralization, nanoreactor for carrying out enzyme catalyzed inorganic synthesis, where HNTS lumen act as biometric nanoreactor. Pulse carbon rich in mesopore and with a large pore volume has been prepared by polymerization and carbonization of a carbon precursor sucrose within HNTS. The process gave mesoporous carbon with total pore volume and large specific surface areas. Polymeric nanotube and nanowires have been fabricated using HNTS as template by atom transfer radical polymerization and a non-woven porous fabric was prepared with a good wetting characteristic by directing casting of a composite dispersion followed by sequence thermal cross-linking encapsulation of ionic and cationic metallopurpurine into the lumens of HNTS showed this novel immobilized catalyst a promising system for selective oxidation reaction. For their third application is halocyte tube as nanocontainers. This application has two subtopics. The first subtopic is anti-corrosion coating with benzoyl This subtopic is about halocyte clay nanotube were investigated as tubular container for the corrosion inhibitor benzotriazole. Halocyte may be used as an addictive in painting to produce a functional composite coating material. For the second subtopic is about releasing and trap corrosion inhibitors. This subtopic is about active corrosion protection coating composed of hybrid soldier film dull with halocyte nanotubes are able to release untrapped corrosion inhibitor in a controllable way. The salt gel film with the nano containers reveals enhanced long-term corrosion protection in comparison with undoped salt gel film because of the self-control release of the corrosion inhibitor triggered by the corrosion processes. For their fourth application is halocyte clay nanotube for controlled release. Like the third application, this application has two subtopics. The first subtopic is protective agents. By variation of internal fluidic properties, the formation of nanoshell over the nanotube and by the creation of smart cups at the tube end it is possible to develop various means of controlling the rate of release. Thus, halocyte nanotube can be used as protective coating for the loading of agent for metal and plastic anti-corrosion and biocide protection. For the second subtopic is entrapment of active agents. The example of active agents are the tricylin HC1, Kaolin and nicotine amide, adenine dinucleotide. This subtopic is about halocyte nanotube are capable of entrapping active agent within the core lumen and in any void spaces contained in the multi-layer walls of the cylinder. Halocyte is capable of retaining and releasing both hydrophilic and hydrophobic agents may be entrapped following appropriate treatment of the plate to render it lipophilic. For hydrophilic molecules, a typical release time was 2 to 5 hours, and for the molecules with low solubility in water, release time 5 to 20 hours was observed. For their fifth application is special delivery system. 
This application has seven subtopics. The first subtopic of this application is clay nanotube in sustaining drug delivery system. This subtopic is about halocyte nanotube are combined with existing pharmaceutical for sustaining drug delivery. Compared to carbon nanotube, halocyte nanotube are less expensive and have a large surface area which allows for greater control of drug loading and illusion profiles. The next subtopic is about transdermal patches. This subtopic is about loading pharmaceutical into halocyte nanotube can enable a more controlled illusion profile. Benefits are low initial concentration, eliminating the high initial delivery rate, and improving the safety profile, particularly with the drugs such as stimulant or hormones, uniform drug delivery, cost efficiency, less drug loading is required per patch, much of which is currently discarded when the patch is removed. The next subtopic is about wound care. This subtopic is about wound care product promote healing and reducing the chances of infecting and scarring. Using halocyte as a drug delivery system in case of burn care can be very beneficial. Drug loaded into a halocyte tube and embedded into the base layer of a bandage can be released over an extended time period. This increases the duration of drug effectiveness and reduces the frequency with which a bandage needs to be changed. The next Subtopic is nanotube in personal care. This subtopic is safety or efficiency test on halocyte nanotube used in personal care formulas are to be conducted. Natural nanocontainers for the controlled delivery of glycerol as a moisturizing agent for the loading and extended release of glycerol for cosmetic applications. The next subtopic is Skin Cleanser Agent When applied without an active agent, the absorptive nature of HNP serve as a hypoallergenic skin cleanser capable of removing unwanted toxin and aesthetically unpleasant oil. The clay perform as gentle exfoliator drawing dead skin cells away from the surface to leave its freshness young and healthy. The next subtopic is use of HNTS skin synthesis of first silver nanorods for antibacterial composite coating. This about silver nanorod were synthesized inside the lumen of the halocyte by thermal decomposition of the silver acetate which was loaded into halocyte for unpost solution by vacuum cycling the composite of silver nanorod encased in clay tube with the polymer paint was prepared and the coating antimicrobial activity combined with tensile strength in squeeze was demonstrated second gold nanoparticles this about gold nanoparticles were synthesized by reduction of HiUC14 using halocyte. The results show that the gold nanoparticles have stripe-like subcircle and irregular shape, which are single crystal or polycrystals. The next subtopic is the use of HNTS in protecting environment. This subtopic is about sorbent for contaminant and pollutant. Asian TS can be used as nanoabsorbent for the removal of the cationic dimethylene blue from aqua solution. Also, it can be used in removal of zinc from aqua solution.